Researchers found that in cases of moderate anxiety or depression, an online treatment tool has proven surprisingly effective. It's called Internet-Delivered CBT, or Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, a type of online program to help patients identify and deal with their illness. Dr. Danielle Martin joins us now. Now, this tool has been around for a while, at least a decade or so. So what's the big deal now? Well, what these researchers did was that they looked at all of the evidence, all of the studies that have been done over the period of a decade. And what they found was that actually this online CBT has been has shown to be actually very effective uh, for people with anxiety, depression, and a few other um, mental health concerns. I think what this, this uh, review of the evidence does is hopefully give us confidence to try to scale up available internet-based models to improve access to mental health services for Canadians. If you think about people living in rural communities, think about our multicultural communities where um, access to therapy in your own language can be a big issue. You think about the many Canadians who don't have insurance to cover a psychologist or a social worker delivering this kind of therapy to them. Um, improving access to internet-based therapy like this could really make a difference. So how does this tool fit in with the other different uh, options that are available? Well, you know, 60% of people with a mental health concern in Canada don't ever even go in to seek help. And a big reason behind that is stigma. So having internet available, uh, internet-based tools available to people can help to kind of break the ice, I think, for a lot of people who are experiencing particularly mild or moderate forms of depression or anxiety. Um, for those people who do seek help, whether it's in a family doctor's office like mine or somewhere else in the system, we can integrate those tools with other forms of therapy that are available. So whether that's supportive counseling in a physician's office or a counselor's office, whether it's uh, medication, um, all of those things can be uh, integrated alongside the kind of uh, what we call facilitated self-help that people are doing when they're online. Just as we used to do with a book or a workbook, we can now do that online in ways that are probably more effective. All right, Danielle, thanks very much. Thank you.